Good morning! It's Wednesday and it's scrapbooking with Lanita time! Today I'm going to show you a cut in half hack, I guess I'm going to call it. Wasn't sure quite what to call it, but cutting stickers, embellishments, and paper in half or other ways can be a little difficult when they're tiny pieces. That's what I'm going to show you today. Be prepared to be very, very excited about this. All right, so first of all, you will want to have your 12-inch trimmer and a second mat, which we call a sticky mat. Okay, your sticky mat is going to take the place of the regular mat, and you can see it's very, very sticky. And I'm going to put this in here, and I'll show you how to get it sticky of you can get it sticky without even trying but this is going to be on purpose because you already know how to clean these mats right if you watch them cleaning your mat hack so let's say that i want to cut this one in half this is very delicate it's an embellishment a laser cut and i think it's from the welcome home so this could be really difficult to cut in half except now you know the mat hack. Well, you're going to be learning it in the next few minutes. So I have stuck this down really well. And if I'm looking here, I want to see where this tip is here or here compared to down here. So I feel like I need to move it a little bit. And I want to make sure I'm in camera. So I'm just going to move it a little bit. But see, not everything moves because it's pretty much stuck down, but it's very easy for me to move it when I need to. Now, that looks like it's pretty good to me. Should I go for it? Ready? Okay, nothing is going to move here. If you feel uncomfortable and you think it might move, you can just stick your fingers in there and it will not move. So there you go. Now you take your good little tool here and help lift it up and there you go now as i'm looking at it i missed a little bit but does it matter no it does not matter because you'll still be able to do something really fun with it and let's see like how would you use these what if we did this and this now, here's the other cool thing. It's already a little bit sticky because, oh, okay. Now, I said it was sticky because of putting it on the mat. Usually it is, but um, it's a little bit sticky, so you can kind of place it. And then you can see, like, oh, I could just do a very simple, easy, beautiful page could be a literally a five minute page very easy and there you go those little pieces there just gave the little bit of delicate that it needed and the little bit of outdoorsy that it needed and you extended your embellishment by cutting it in half all right let's just play a little bit more with some other ones how about stickers how about a sticker? So this is a good one because it has a wider margin. And sometimes it's hard to figure out where half is. And basically you just kind of look and say, well, that kind of looks like half to me or more or less. And because it's on the sticker strip here, it's a lot easier. And my little guide here kind of shows me, well, I'm going in the middle of the pansy there so i think i'm good to go on that what do you think should we go for it there you go okay so there is that one and then what you can do is oh, let's see oh here i can use i'm looking for a piece of paper to put it on that one looks like a good color i've just got papers all over here so then this could be here if you wanted it to it could be um facing both sides what if we did this that's kind of pretty huh and then i'll do this side and now i'm seeing that i'm not quite getting them in half when you're closer to your trimmer 
I'm a little bit far away, you'll be able to, but look how pretty that is. Isn't that so cool? I mean, already it's just so delicate looking. And you can do it on a two page spread and so forth. How about paper? Let's try paper. <coughs> and by the way, this one is an excellent one to cut in half also, because that will make, I'm just gonna cut in half because I want to. That will make it go a little farther. Now the other way sometimes you can tell how to cut it in half where the half is is by measuring the top. So this is one and a fourth here. So I am going to go just, now what are those measurements? I need my little postcard here, huh? That's gonna go right in the middle of, um, let's just see, I think I have it. <laughs> what do you think, do I have it right? Am I right in the middle there? So um, I needed my handy dandy little chart to see where the middle is of one and a fourth, but I think I've got it there. And I can always see, like I know I, I can see I don't quite have it because the little margin there is different. So, um, but you know, you, you will learn when you play with this to see where your, um, where your, where the middle is. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut. A little scary, isn't it? I'm gonna say I'm gonna cut and then I get scared. Do I have it just right? Okay, I'm just gonna do it. Now this has stuff on it already. Uh, stuff as in foam squares right there. So it was a little bit harder, but it still got it cut. And let's see, what do you think of this on this page here? I'm gonna bring this one back. That way or that way. Can you imagine the possibilities, right? Those are leaves here, there's leaves here. How pretty is that? Okay, how about paper? This is supposed to be a nice little quick hack. Paper, what if you were to want to cut uh, right along this white line right there? So again, you can see that the paper just literally is sticking down. So I know that there are ways to cut, to in, uh, extend. You can use extenders with little sticky notes, but to me this is just so much easier. Now, um, so I'm just doing this and realizing, okay, so that is not straight, so I take my little tool. You can see I'm way off the line there, and I'm just going to move it and pair it up to this black line that's on this side, and... Also, one of the things that I'm noticing is this paper that I'm using here. I cut it crooked in the first place because I was doing another something, but that's pretty good. Okay, so I've got that piece that I wanted. I wanted white to be the outside, and there it is. There's my skinny little piece. Now, what if, let's see if this works, okay? Where's, okay, what if, this is pretty little also, this piece. What if you say, well, I want to cut this, and that is one inch, so that's a lot easier to measure. So I'm going to put it at the half. That's easy, easier math for me. Um, next time I'll bring up my chart. So what if you want to use it with a decorative blade? So let's pull out a decorative blade. Which one? How about the wave? Wave is kind of fun, especially with this blue. Uh, so there we go. Now, this is really well stuck down. I don't have to worry about it moving. And I can cut my wave and lift it up. And there we go. What paper should I put it on this time? I got paper all over the place, don't I? Okay, so there's that. There's a wave. How about up and down this time? There, and there, and there you go. You know, you can do things like this. I mean, you can just do all sorts of things because you have a nice skinny strip that you have decorated. All right, and then um, one other thing like this one, when if you're in doubt of why you would want to cut pieces, cutting this in half made me be able to make this page 
which you'll see on one of my other posts on how to take a one pager and make it into a two page. That's for another time. And this, because I cut it in half, I was able to bring it over to here. So that's a really neat way to just save on your embellishments, on stickers, and make them go farther. So where do you store this thing? Okay, so first of all, I think you saw that I take it out with a tool. Uh, I'm able to make sure you could see that. And this is okay if it's a little bit sticky there. I don't care underneath. That's fine. Okay. And then I'm just going to replace with my other one, my one that is not sticky. And then this one, did you know there's a storage place under here? This one is going to go right in here. And I'm going to store it right there. My sticky mat is here. My regular one is in the trimmer. Good to go and ready to create. How about that? Are you so excited about that fun little uh, tip? I'm pretty excited because I just see, I'm, I'm looking at stickers all over here and saying, ooh, wouldn't that be cute to cut that in half and put on here? I mean, I've just got them all over the place. I just seem to cut, oh, here's another one. Look, I seem to cut everything in half. I was playing this weekend for CC Creative Cafe International and I cut that in half, I cut that in half. Seems like I'm in the cutting in half mode, right? Uh, not to worry, I'm not gonna cut most of my pictures in half, but let's have fun. And oh, speaking of fun, join my, or or uh, subscribe, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Scrapbook Game with Lanita. You can also ask to join my Facebook group, which is called Scrapbooking with Lanita for more fun and always ideas and tips. All right, thanks for watching.